Hi, Joe Duncan of Joe's Ugly Hacks again. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Joe's Ugly Hacks to add background animations to your map tool campaign. All you need to start are the libjuh timer and libjuh media library token files from the juh demo campaign, which you can find linked in the description below, and the image frames you want to use for your background animation. The first step is just to drop the timer and media library tokens onto the map, so let's do that. Next, we add an is background anim state to our campaign, which will be used by JUH to register background animations. And we're going to make this a mouse over and only GM event, and we're going to put it state rather and put it in the top corner so it's not too cluttery. All right, so let's add that. So we have our state. Once we have our libraries in the background animation state set up, we drop our animation frames onto the hidden layer of the map. So let's grab our campfire. I got 50 frames here. Let's drop them onto the map. These should all be named uh, with image colon and then an arbitrary name and then basically the frame number from zero to the last frame. Um, once they're on the map, what we do is we take a copy of the first one and we put it on the background. And then we rename it to anim campfire. We set the is background anim to true. We give ourselves ownership because background animations only run on GM's clients that own the stamp. Uh, then we go to GM notes and we're going to enter uh, a, a property string, a three value property string. The first value is label. This is just a arbitrary label that the animation manager is going to use to identify this animation. So we'll say campsite fire. Um, then we have image prefix. This is the prefix without the frame number of the image frames. And I believe that was just image colon campfire. And then the last property is just the number of frames, num frames. It's 51. That's it. Yeah, that all looks good. All right, so once we have all that set up, all that we need to do is we will switch to uh, player view. And then we are going to start. Oh, we're going to start the clock. Uh, we're going to start the transceiver. And there we go. Background animations. Easy as pie. Hope you guys like that. See y'all next time. Thank you very much. Hope to get your feedback soon. Take care.